Hi guys. Oh, I forgot my glasses. Um, here I am again at my local Goodwill outlet. Um, it's not that local. It's like 25 minutes away from my house, but, and I am here super late because it's almost 11 and the best time is either morning or afternoon. But let's hope I can find some good stuff. I've been selling a lot. I hope you guys have great sales. So let's jump into the video. Hello. So guys, the first thing, first thing I touched right after going through the door was this gorgeous beaded dress that you just saw a second ago it is so beautiful i can't believe it it was so pretty vintage all silk all beaded not a bead missing i don't know how that happened that it survived and it was actually hidden under a bunch of stuff next was this one i i'm always looking for a kind of fun light cover-up beach related items um yeah but i find a lot of you know basic this was cute why didn't i take oh it had a rip i'm like why didn't i take it <laughs> well that's why but it was cute that's the problem every time i go there's so many ripped beautiful pieces and single shoes and well, this one I picked up was vintage dress. It did sell on the, one of my live, but I had to sell it for a lot less because I noticed it has like uh, little marks on it, but it was beautiful. So yes, I always find bunch of single shoes, and they're always the fancy, amazing shoes like fry boots or. Tory Burch, excellent condition shoes. I found uh, Harley Davidson boots, always single ones. So that's crazy. <laughs> but yeah. I wish they didn't mix stuff. Like there's a bunch of books, hard goods. Sometimes you grab something and it's glass inside together with clothes. I wish they would separate it in hours a little bit better, but unfortunately they just kind of dump it all together and also i wish they would put shoes in at least one bin like even if you don't want to pair them at least if they would um you know keep shoes in one giant bin so people would have a chance of finding pairs but no they just kind of dump it all over so that's sad i know some other locations have a little bit better uh, way of organizing things and better rules and so on but gotta go what you, with what you get right <laughs> so a lot of times i pick up whatever you know i go by whatever i see it looks cute this looked really cute i believe i sold it already too mm, but I like to pick up light, flowy fabrics, silk, some embroidered items, lacy pieces, but you have to be so, so careful with them because a lot of times, look at that, it has stuck hanger to it. Like people, if you're donating, please just donate without the hanger. This is what happens later. This little guy was so cute. I left it on top so maybe somebody who has a little kid would enjoy it. <laughs> if I see something cute, I always like to share and show it. So it has a chance to uh, go to good home and not just be dumped somewhere. See, I found a plate and clothes. <laughs> it's crazy. Ah, at least it wasn't broken. How 
how do your bins look like guys if you would like to give me some description of how it goes in your bins like is it very different do you have different rules let me know so here we have lululemon this is my basket so far but don't worry i'll have like five of those by the end I always gravitate to those sparkly pieces, even though I don't really wear them, but I just love seeing all the glitter and sequins. Anyway, I just um, recorded the whole voiceover and I guess I accidentally didn't save it and closed the app. So yeah, don't be like me and don't do this. Don't make yourself do the same thing twice. Yay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah. So I was talking before about this. Vera Bradley. That those bags are so lightweight. They're great for travel. Great for people with back problems. And I actually like selling them to thread up. Because as you probably know. When you sell a bag at, on thread up. Uh, you get payout as soon as the person um, receives the bag and they are non-refundable. So it's good news for you because you're going to get your money and they cannot return. So lightweight bags is definitely good pickup at um, your outlet. Those are pretty good men's shorts, Columbia. Especially cargo shorts, I believe. And I, I know a lot of men like the cargo shorts in the summer when they're going camping, when they're hiking or fishing. They're very versatile. This was Cashmere Theory sweater. And it was so pretty, but I believe I left it behind because it had a hole in it. And, and I, I didn't really want to fix it. It wasn't that that easy to fix. Too bad. So yeah, I ended up leaving it behind. This is cute little romper from Derek Hart. He definitely has cute pieces. Um, but not really worth reselling. But they're uh, good on like live sales. Because they can be really, really cute. And if the style is right and bigger size. Then I'll definitely pick it up to sell on my live show. Oh, exciting news, guys. I actually just signed up for um, Whatnot and got approved. And as a seller, I'm going to have my first live on this coming Wednesday. Ah! Oh, look at the craziness. Wow, it's so wild there. I do go there sometimes, but more times than not, it is not worth it. <laughs> I've been scratched, pushed around, and people pull things from your hand. Uh, so yeah, it's not really my jam so much. I usually find the best stuff in the bin that million people went through. <laughs> and on the very bottom, I find the best piece. So yeah, I don't know. Occasionally I will go and try, but... Uh, that's not really my thing. Alright, so it's the time for the haul of items I got at the uh, Goodwill outlet last time. So let's start. I try to hang them most. 
make it a little easier so first item is one of my favorite brands to sell which is Torrid and I thought this was so cool uh, like a distressed t-shirt with a big v-neck very cool with flowers so that's one size one from Torrid which is 1x I thought this was really adorable like a um, mini skirt very bohemian style it's just forever 21 but the size is 2x and i always feel like it's harder to find the larger sizes in, that are cute and trendy and boho <laughs> uh what i usually sell locally or on my live sales is like boho pieces plus size pieces or very like pattern floral that's what people look for or extremely unique so that's why you see a lot of it this brand I don't really recognize I don't know if it's focused for your comfort but it is 100% silk they didn't steam it yet I think it's a rope but it could definitely serve as a kimono it does not have a belt which is a bummer but you can just untie it keep it open i thought the print was really pretty and silk that's what was going for it so this piece i saw and i actually hold <laughs> had it next to me on the pile and somebody almost grabbed it out of my hand and i'm like no 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 that i picked that i thought this was so cute and unique dress with real feathers and beat it and it's sheer in front and this is the brand Valenti or Valiant Paris um, so I didn't look it up I'll try to put some comps on the screen for you there was not too many high-end pieces so I had to focus more on the style so next one is this like a crochet boho uh, poncho I love this I love this kind of style that would be cute on the beach as a cover-up or on vacation or dress very cute no brand on that one and no size but I think it's like one size fits all next one is just gap but I love the style of this top I love the color it was in excellent condition look actually brand new it is size large so that will be again something to sell, to sell locally or on the live. Next brand is kind of brand that a lot of people don't pick up anymore, but it always sells well and quick for me. Maybe not for a lot of money, but it's good depending what obviously a piece it is, more unique styles and very like popular career pieces sell faster, bigger sizes sell faster. But I thought this was really cute blazer with like rolled up cuffs and long lined one and it's size 8 from Calvin Klein and it's white and I didn't see anything on it so that's like a miracle at the bins next one I think somebody left this one behind and I probably wouldn't pick it up based on the brand but it is size extra large. I thought it's so fun and good for summer. And I will definitely sell that locally or on a live. Next piece, similar. Uh, this brand, actually, I really like their pieces, Bila. I actually enjoy wearing them myself. I think they're very boho, very cute, very like Johnny Was or free people style I thought this was so cute has those giant roughly sleeves little tassels pretty floral and it is a plus size so definitely a yes Chakna it's more of a affordable brand but they do have very nice bohemian looking pieces this actually has little hooks so you close it up here I thought it would be so cute for the beach or vacation or just you know summer with shorts or jeans next one love tree 
it has like that smocked kind of gauzy material size large i do like this color i feel like it's popular so i got that one you have to remember that those tops probably weigh less than a half a pound so i paid i believe 125 since i got over whatever 50 pounds so yeah it was definitely worth for me so again the same idea here this is extra large which i like the size i don't find it very often in cute pieces in my local thrift store and this looked really good i checked over <laughs> like 20 times because it's light and it's white and you know how it is in the bins but it looked really good so i picked it up it's so flowy and fun z and l i don't really know this brand i have to look it up but it is like a beach cover-up with a tassel looks like one size fits all it does have a little well not little but big grip right there on the seam so but i think i'll just have it fixed and it should be good to go since it's on the seam that's an easy fix with the machine it's like a few seconds uh sienna sky the same deal here it's very cute like a full wrap top this little very cottage core romantic beachy boho style next i got it because of the size mostly but i do like the plaid and color combo it's democracy and it's size 2x it has a really cute large sleeves and little pleats and like little ruffle i hope you can see it well i changed my setting for the camera so next one is this brand always for me cover I don't really know this brand, I have to look it up, but all the cover-ups like this style, doesn't matter what brand, they sell really quick for me right now. So for the price, they're super lightweight, it's definitely quick flip, and yeah, I thought it was so, so cute. If not, I can always keep it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> this ones are like a beach pants, wide leg size medium from band of oh no it's gypsies and moon dust high waisted the same idea very boho this would actually look way better with being steamed brand is c uh, chelsea 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 and violet size extra large but i thought this was so cute sorry it's all wrinkly but it has real embroidery a little button detail I love the giant balloon sleeves with this heavy embroidery so Johnny was style and it's like flowy I mean I love this next is <clears throat> I most likely will send this to the real real I mean to thread up this brand can do pretty good there depending on pieces but I thought this one was actually really cute with the tie-dye it's just BB <coughs> size medium top pretty color excellent condition now this time I was really trying to get more uh, jeans because I got like the message from thread up and they said like one of their t or their top category is jeans that sells so I figured let me this time get some jeans I'm not super into buying jeans um, but I mean I know the obvious brands so you'll see some of our styles I was trying to focus on what's trending now and uh, yeah so I got some jeans <laughs> this one's Paxan I know some people sell it at their buy sell trade store I hate my play-dohs they're the worst <laughs> It is, they're like high-waisted, destroyed, more of a straight leg jeans. So they're definitely trendy. And Paxan can do pretty good sometimes. It's more of a trendy piece, uh, especially when it's so pretty quick. Um, this was very cute. Uh, it's like a longer tunic. 
Lily's closet, size medium. I thought this would be cute, even with like little mini dress at the beach, over swimsuits or something, or very resort style. And the pieces that are worth looking up, I'll put uh, comps for. Liz Claiborne, I do not pick up too much. This one's collection, but I got it because it was 100% silk. They're like a wider leg, or rather, I think it's like a straight leg pants. High waisted. So it has tiny pull there, I have to fix but I thought the style was really good, so I got it. This one looks like something based on a tag. I did not look it up yet. It was wild in my bins and I was by myself, so I just had to go with my guts. <laughs> but this has very cute, like an eyelet detail with embroidery. And it's Jerry, I think, or Gary Webb. So I thought this was, even just based on style, it would definitely sell. So this is vintage, made in France. Guy La Roche uh, might be some high-end brand. I did not look it up, but I love the style. And vintage pieces like this are so in. So this is a very pretty pink dress. It has like little specks all over. It looks like, feels like linen. I have to look at, check. It has a little belt, buttons in front. And this is the tag. I'll look up comps, comps and add them here. Next item, based on style. I thought this was so cute. Oversized with little pockets like a cream color lightweight sweater that also would be cute as like a sheer cover-up thing next i just love the print it's just uh, just a t but it would be cute as oversized a size extra large cropped like long crop with peanuts Next one is uh, BP, which is the, I believe, Nordstrom, like, Juniors brand. I actually sold the same sweater in black recently. Very soft. Maybe not right now, but whew, for sure will sell in the fall. So it's probably about $20. I love the color and the polka dots on this one. Mustardy yellow. I thought it was very cute. It is size large and feels very nice and lightweight. So I thought this was very cute. I know this is something people like on my lives. This again is Jopna. I love the style of this. I'm gonna have to stitch it here. It's size extra small. This super extremely oversized leg um, jumpsuit with pockets. I thought this was so cute. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't probably pick it up for full price, but in the bins, based on style, I picked it up. Angie can sell pretty fast for me, not for a lot, but again, I thought this was cute, like a retro style. So I got it. Oh, this one was pretty good. Papel. Um, boutique it is 100% silk dress it's very heavy beaded on the bottom beautiful it has few missing beads right there but majority on like the main design everything is intact it is lined and size 12 so that was good pick up that I would probably pick up in the regular goodwill also Next is this extra large, again, based on style. That's what it would sell in my local thrift store or consignment or also in life. Very pretty. I love this dress. I don't think it's anything special brand. I'll have to look it up. OPT. But it, I hope it doesn't sell because I really want to keep it. <laughs> and it has giant 
balloon sleeves with like smocking here. Has V neck. Very, very pretty. I do love this style. I probably should just try it first. Next, I love this color. Like a lavender. And it's just ink international concept size extra large but again this would definitely sell based on style has those pretty ginormous sleeves so Halloway this is I believe golf brand sold it many times before some pieces can sell pretty good this one is just pretty basic it has a cute contrast but it is season for being outdoor and playing and it look excellent condition. Uh, Chico's most likely I'll be either sending to the thread up or um, selling on the live. Actually somebody gave me this one. They knew I'm a reseller and they were like, hey look this one is very pretty. I do like the print on it so we'll see. Some people have great luck selling Chico's. For me it's, it's sometimes forever but yeah. So this is cut from cloth, I think it's called, um, jeans, I like the hem on them, so that was like a main reason why I picked them up, they have like a raw hem, on purpose, a little bit distressed, not too bad, not super skinny, more of a, it looks skinny here, but it's more straight leg. Like up. And it is bigger size, I believe. I think it's size 10, so not bad big. You know, when they don't have stretch, they always look bigger. Seven for all my mankind jeans, which I still do like selling. Some of them do really good. And this one is size 34. Cut one. And they are uh, like a straight, ah, straight leg jeans, and I have a hanger mal mal malfunction, malfunction. Okay. Now, don't pay attention to this, please. <laughs> I hope you still like and subscribe and share. Okay, so you can hear how I can't, I can't pronounce words. Okay, so this I mostly got because it is new a tag and it is size 2X. So this will be something local consignment or live. So next is Sintra, Cynthia Rowley, which sometimes can do really good for me actually. I know a lot of people don't pick it up, but some pieces from this brand like linen. Or cashmere so really good for me has little pockets which I just noticed it has a spot or is it part of the design I'm not 100% sure it is on the both sides I'll have to look at it closer but it is linen cotton very lightweight uh, like a ombre sweater next based on style this looks so vacation is just ink again size large though which is good size very cute just for live or um, consignment so you guys should definitely I mean those pieces would sell on Poshmark Mercari and so on because they're bigger sizes because they're trendy because they're vacation so they would sell but you should also look into other ways to sell like your local consignments or buy sell trade because uh, it's good to have many streams of income this one i thought it was so cute extra large from old navy it has a little knot here and i do not pick up old navy very often but cotton rayon i thought this was so cute for the summer so based on style 
Lucky Brand Seismometer with this embroidery. Sorry about my neighbor's dog barking. <coughs> So yeah, this is all right. So next, I have a few pairs of pants. Wait, did I finish that top? I think this was the last one. So yeah, Lucky Brand, just a basic cute top, size medium, loose fitting, perfect for summer. I like selling Lucky Brand on Poshmark too and Mercari. So it would sell for like $16 or so. Um, Riviera Sun, extra large. This is a dress. Obviously this is style based uh, pickup. Um, next we have those pants. They are very cool, like smocked waist, kind of like, um, yoga jogger style with like a drop thing and tassels it's uh by anthropology size medium it's pretty pattern next piece i have this gorgeous top beach candy by margaret joseph's size extra large with this pretty uh, tie here and a hood I love the print on it and bigger sizes again extra large so that definitely will sell those shorts are by Jolt and I was going back and forth if to pick them size 5 or 27 but I think I looked on the tag and yes it's there 55% linen and the paper bag so I got them based on the fabric next we have this Pink Floyd t-shirt uh, it's like a band tee from a concert so I decided to pick it up size so small medium I thought it's really good condition so we'll see how it will do but Pink Floyd is you know pretty known it's not like real vintage but it's more retro next one is um, Brooks Brothers fine Italian merino 100% it does feel really good to the touch like it's never been washed and you know feels brand new so I picked it up and 100% cashmere or merino wool usually does pretty good Next one is Simply Vera by Vera Wang. Size medium top, very lightweight with this cool pattern. So I thought this would be good for live sale or local consignment. Michael Kors size medium. I like the print on it, it has cute sleeves, good for summer, and this will, you know, be not. Michael Kors doesn't sell like it used to for sure. Dresses, purses, shoes still sell pretty good, but clothes not as much. But since I got it at the bins, I thought it was worth picking up. Next, I love this dress. It's by Flying Tomato. Uh, size small, very boho, very beachy with like a shark bite hem adjustable straps with a little tassel I thought it was really cool for the summer so I got it I love this print with the little pink flamingos Island Republic by declaration of style a size extra large wide like button down top it is super soft and comfy lightweight that again the same idea I have to look it up though because it's very well made next one is rewash size extra small beach pants with this cut out on the side braided and tassels I thought those were so cute for the summer for the beach um, JM collection which I also don't really pick up but again 
size 18 and 100% linen. So, and I like the minty color. So definitely a yes. Even on Poshmark, even though no brand, but if it's 100% linen, pretty color and also bigger size, it always sells quickly for me. This brand is splendid. Uh, actually, I love selling it, especially jumpsuits from this brand. Maybe not for a whole lot, but they always sell. And this one is a skirt and it's 70% modal. So they always use great fabrics. I need to steam it, but I thought it was so cute. And again, good fabric. So this is like a wrap. Uh, one of those cover-up wraps so you put it first one half on your neck and then you put the other or you can put it on shoulders you know and then have it like you know crisscrossing with the pineapple print that again based on the pattern and style I thought it will be definitely quick sale um, next is just as uh, romper very soft fabric with pockets love the color on it I didn't see any brand tag on it but it's cotton love the pink color next now I don't like faux leather ah, sorry about that I don't like faux leather I hate that it breaks and I do not pick it up but <laughs> I just couldn't help it. This jacket, I thought it was so cool. And this like dark burgundy maroon color from Juju. I thought it was so cute. Has the little pockets. And I looked it over like 20 times. It does not have one area where it's like cracking or worn. So I thought that the bends, I can definitely pick it up. Next item is this White House Rock Market uh, corset style top. Okay, so I'm back. Um, hopefully no more interruption now. Uh, okay, so I got a few miscellaneous items. This one was Giorgio Armani little, uh, what is it, like a little makeup or little wristlet so I got it since it's super lightweight even though it's not like very fancy kind next are those Steve Madden glasses so probably should have checked them better I see some scratches maybe they're just dirty those glasses um they don't really have a brand but I thought they were so cool so I got those uh, next, I got this um, jewelry little, um, what is it, like uh, faux gems. So I will definitely find a good use for that. I used to actually design jewelry and sell it for years. I also got this bag. It ha I have to reattach this part, but it is new with tag. And I thought it would be so cute right now for the summer, like a little basket. Okay, so next item is this brand new with tag uh, Volkswagen cap. And I also got this hat, it's Victoria's Secret, new with tag. It is very misshapen right now, it was $38, but I actually uh, used steamer before and had fixed the hats before, especially this one was new with tags, so I thought it was worth trying. Next item is this kimono, have to kind of untangle the tassel a little bit on this one, but I love the color. Um, next I got this, it's a sports bra, it looks brand new, size 3XL in this maroon color. I thought it was so pretty. I wouldn't pick it up from the regular thrift store, but this was worth it for the price. I did find Lululemon leggings. They have cute little mesh 
right there on the leg. I have to look up the style. But it's definitely older and it's size four. Has a little bit of wear on the on the zipper, but overall not on the fabric. So they don't have really wear on the fabric. So we'll see. Next I got this little Hollister skirt. I would try to sell it on the live or uh, send it to the thread up. Next item is this swimsuit. It is brand new with tag 3X. So I picked it up. I thought it was pretty cute with little mesh and it has built in bra in it. Again, you would tag a bigger size. On the scarf, I still have to look it up because it is 100% silk, but I couldn't find brand on it. I have to use Google Lens to see if I can find it. Got some more swimsuit. This one you look, it was new without tag. It's just sheen, but actually all my other swimsuits I had sold really quickly on my live, so thought I would try it again. Next item I have is this swimsuit again, but it's just like a tankini top, which those do pretty well. You can sell them by, the, by themselves. And this one's magic suit size 12, which I heard that the magic suits sell really well. And I actually picked up another one just the other day. I thought this was cute with the tie-dye print. Next was a little new with tag swim top in this like a teal color. Nothing special brand. This I couldn't leave even though maybe I should have <laughs> a Juicy Couture swimsuit with like little skirt little knot so you can put this over like a halter over your neck or just keep it without it has like this you know area so it helps it not slip so i thought it was so cute even though it has a few tiny pools i thought it was worth picking up a uh, little cover-up scarf um what do we have next bcbg max azria pants and they are very cool i did not find the size which is not good because the real i mean the thread of wood does not accept without size which is a bummer so yeah they're like a wider leg high-waisted pants they look small like maybe size four next i have those pants there um P V S H R V C A. I think they're one of those like water oil resistant specialty pants, like tactical. And but they actually look really cute, and they have button fly, <laughs> and they are kind of like the trendy look, straight leg, and kind of more um, slouchy. Another pair of beach pants. I might be keeping those. I have to try them on, but they don't have the tie. I didn't think it matters because they're elasticated waist and they're Calvin Klein. So small. This brand I've sold before. I believe it sold at Nordstrom, Can Can. I've sold it pretty good. I sold them for like 35 before. And I thought those were cute with a little distressing and raw hand. So I got those. I'll probably be sending them to um, thread up. Next are those Hollister jeans. I believe they might be men because they're size. Here, let's see. Those are women's. Let's see. Well, I don't know. They have the they close on the same side as the other ones so size 35 they have stretch to them pretty cool jeans you know if they're men's or women's i always thought like in 
if it's like 32 or more, it's men's, but I might be wrong. Because they're on the same as the women's pens. So um, those are Donna Karen, New York size 8. More of a lower rise, straight leg jeans. But they look really good. Like a dark wash. And I also got those shorts. Which uh, I really like selling this brand, Columbia. When they are like... PFG like the fishing gear but I actually know that the cargo pocket shorts do really good and they are on in high demand in the summer and they have that no non-rip fabric so that's a good sign too and where did we finish here okay, I saw okay Oh, yeah, I, I was started to show this one, get interrupted. Um, this is White House Black Market, kind of like corset style, very Y2K. So I picked up because of style, but uh, thread up still plays pretty well for White House Black Market. Um, this is BB, size medium, kind of like body contrast, which I heard that they are coming back in since so they're Y2K and it look really good in this cream color with studs all over, stretchy. And BB can sell pretty good on thread up also. Another BB, <laughs> this is just a t-shirt, black. I don't really like picking up t-shirts too much or selling them. But I thought it would look cute with the studs. I like the brand. And if nothing else, I'll just keep it for myself. Next piece is this vintage dress. Andrea Guile. I don't know. I believe this button might have been replaced. There are buttons all the way down. Hidden. And the buttons on the cuffs are different. But it is so cottage core. It's pretty color and it is midi length, so I still took it. We'll see, I might sell it on my life. This is just splendid, extra small, but again, splendid. It always has very good, yeah, like this is 50% Pima cotton and 50% modal, so very good fabric content. Um, they're always like that, it's definitely good quality. Calvin Klein uh, shirt. I like that it has a little logo there. Has contrasting um, little color. It's navy with black. I thought this would be definitely worth picking up. Now this is something that I would definitely pick up in my regular thrift store as well because it's 100% pure silk, size small extremely heavy beaded mini dress with little scalloped hem on the bottom just pretty flowers i thought this was so pretty well made i don't see any beads missing and i think this was like the first thing i picked up <laughs> that day so yeah that i would probably pay for and it is pretty heavy so i might have paid like three dollars but um, next item is their card, which I do not pick up very often, but again, either for life or local consignment. I'm sure you're tired of me saying that by now. Um, but this is just a romper, and it's size large, and it has pockets, so I thought it definitely, you know, what people are looking for in the summer, 100% cotton. This brand sounded very familiar. I feel like... It might be something I'm gonna look it up. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Uh, La Clefs, made in the USA. It's like a midi length, stretchy dress. I actually happen to love this color, like a mossy gray. So if it doesn't sell, I won't be mad about it, you know. Celeste, 100% cashmere, and it does have spot but uh easy way to find out if it's just surface is like to rub it 
if partially comes off like this one did then it means it's just on the surface otherwise it looked really good um yeah i didn't see any holes on it that's minimal like um you know peeling a little bit or not peeling but the little you know but uh, i have to look up this brand but otherwise it's still worth it because it's 100 percent uh, cashmere which always sells wear from me this uh <laughs> i wasn't sure what to do with that but it's new attack dress a uh, cotton with this pretty floral print and it has a little contrasting trim i believe this might be like from india style sampada mumbai so i don't know delhi that might be african uh either way i thought it was so pretty and actually kind of looks cottage core style very what is it like peasant style so i thought it will be worth picking up especially new attack and it's midi length which sells well right now uh, Late, which is Nordstrom in house brand, it's just this maroon top with a little mesh detail here and lace up. Um, yeah, I don't really pick up a whole lot, but the pieces I picked up they sold really quickly from this brand for not a whole lot, but they were worth it at the bins, you know. Under Armour men's like a shield for beach. I don't know whose uh, logo this is, but I will probably take it to either local consignment, but also on um, Poshmark or eBay. Those sell pretty good now for the summer. Roxy, I love this size large, little um, romper overalls. Very cute, very lightweight, and they feel like linen. Let me see. They look brand new too. Like the tag is so shiny. Let's see, seventy-one percent linen and twenty-nine cotton, I think. And it's adjustable here, so uh, yeah, definitely. Ah, uh, yes. This one, Zara, um, it has spots on it, but they look like they're just somebody spilled some coffee on it. So I think they will all come off. Size large. I'll wash it and um i think it will all come off quickly and be very pretty the zara top which definitely zara sells for me next is catherine malarn Drano, which is pretty expensive for retail i do not always pick it up i do like selling the, some of the dresses super soft sweater with this pretty button detail and like kind of looser fit has I also like wider sleeve I thought this was so soft and if not I will send it to Red Up next piece is based on the style it is 100% cotton I believe um, crochet midi skirt I thought this was uh, so cute size medium but really it could have fit a little bit larger I thought it was definitely worth I saw something here oh no it's just like a little stuck on um, thread okay so cute somebody put so much work into it so and I've sold some of like hand crochet like this pieces for up to a hundred dollars because it's a lot of work I know how to crochet so I know how much work it is uh, this was given me by one of the nice ladies there, Ralph Lauren, 100% silk, like a vintage looking top, but I just noticed that uh, there are some buttons missing, but I might be able to use one from here because this one has like double button, I might be able to remove the second one and just fix that. I just don't feel like telling her no. <laughs> Next one is Helios and Luna. Do not know this brand. Have to look it up. I'll put the look uh, cup 
the comps I look up on the screen. But it is 100% silk with a tie. Yeah. So if it's 100% silk, I usually will pick it up because silk is expensive. And uh, usually you can sell it for a little bit more. If not, thread up for sure will sell. Uh, Alfred Dunner or Dunner. 16 is the size which is good size it has pretty like a uh, beaded area here look like amber and a very cute like mesh sh sheer sleeves very good for summer next piece i might be keeping this it's is so soft this goes a very cute with like a sweatshirt, oversized sweater, very lightweight, and it's like a nice soft knit with this cute like little full wrapped area and this cowl that you can, or rather, rather this is like funnel uh, neck. Looks brand new, uh, so I got it most likely for me. Might be reselling it. <laughs> Liz Claiborne, again, I don't really pick up this brand, but it's size large and it is very cute boho style with like white sleeve and crinkly material. Yeah, based on style. Um, again, size large by Velvet by Graham and Spencer. Has cute little tassels all over. I actually have similar top without the tassels for myself and I love wearing it in the summer. So that will be again something good for a line. Soprano, I do not pick up this brand. But I love this top. It has kind of like short bite hem. It is extremely like oversized, has a little button detail. So I thought this was so cute for the summer. You know, you put it over even swimsuit, that would look cute. Next one, Lane Bryant, size 20 blazer with like 3-4 sleeve, which is good now. Like a light jacket, you can put over and go. It does not have belt, but you could put any belt or just go without. It doesn't really need it. Next, uh, Zara Basic size medium but this is so like this is what I live for in the summer this one is looks like either cotton or linen 100% linen yeah so yeah brand is good style is good and fabric is good and it's white and has nothing in it so that's a miracle piece <laughs> This one is Forever 21, which I don't buy this brand. It has two spots, so I'm gonna have to remove it. But you tie the neckline, it has a little poof sleeve or pop sleeve. And I mostly got it for myself. Actually, let me put it here and try it first. Um, next one, I actually just picked up this brand first time ever and I sold it right away. Morelli. They seem to have very good quality pieces and this one the same linen blend with like beaded detail and cut out and embroidery. The pockets have pretty zip with flower. I just noticed the spots but they are like surface spots so I'll be washing it. I'll be washing everything but those will be like priority since they have spots on them so i have to keep them on separate area this is huge volume volume Ooh, skirt not size but the volume of it you know it's like very flowy very beachy sheer size large skirt planet gold i don't know this brand but it doesn't need a brand really 100 percent rayon this is so fun for the beach with one of those little tiny tops. That would be so pretty. Next, I picked this up based on the brand. So it's Boss, Hugo Boss, beautiful coat. 
Okay, so it has a spot there, just surface. And I checked and it had, I believe, I don't know what it is, 100% Nutria? I have to figure out what Nutria is. Wait. No, it's 82% Virgin Wool, 10% Angora, and 8% Cashmere. Oh, and Nutria is maybe the lining. Yeah. So I thought this fabric content, this style, I mean, it feels quality for sure. It is missing belt, but I'm thinking maybe I'll remove the belt loops. So pretty. And you can remove this and just have it cream color. Boss, you the boss. So I almost like to send it to the thread up. Tabita. This brand sometimes is sold it was an anthropology, I believe. That's very cute. Like a uh, faceted buttons it is viscose nylon cotton lamb's wool angora and cashmere with this embroidery very good quality fabric material lined and so for people that are itchy it already has lining almost done thanks for being here for the super long haul <laughs> next is vintage dress with the silk tie in the back so it is maxi like evening gown velvet with a silk strap that lace up in the back so it's open back um i bought it based on the fact that it is um you know beautiful and it's size small and it is this brand Okay, Caro, Caro. But I think this kind of style sells it. Every time I list those with the open back, classy pieces, they always sell with gowns. So next, I don't know if this is real. The nice lady gave it to me. I think it's kids, Burberry, like hooded sweatshirt. So I wasn't sure, it has a little pocket there. Very cute, it has a little uh, contrast fabric. Looks legit, very soft, it looks brand new, but I'm not 100% sure, 100% cotton, so maybe. Anyway, so that was nice of her uh, to give it to me. Next one is Sean John. And this is really cool, like a denim sport coat blazer for men. It is cool tiger embroidery here. <laughs> I thought it was so cool and different. And Sean John jackets can sell pretty well. So we'll see how this one does. Almost done. I believe those are my last two pieces. So first is this Vera Bradley crossbody. It's like a build-in wallet bag it looks really clean oh it, it, you can have it as crossbody or a belt bag so i i don't know if i'll sell it myself or send it to uh thread up and this one i got based on style it needs to be cleaned just a bit limited edition linen cotton um like a crossbody hobo but it's all embroidered. I thought it was so cool, so boho. So I picked it up and it's very lightweight, so I probably didn't pay a whole lot. <sighs> That's absolutely everything. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you're still here, you're a trooper. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my items. This time, like I mentioned, I think in the video, uh, they changed the rules, so um, they were no longer like bringing in new stuff. Everything is put out in the morning, uh, at least with clothes. Later, they bring some hard goods, um, and 
you pretty much have to be there at six in the morning because afternoon doesn't work anymore so i'm gonna have to change my strategy because as you see i only got few high-end-ish brands so if i was just selling on a poshmark i don't know i probably wouldn't pick up at least half of it and not that it's not worth it because i'm sure that every single item of those would sell but um yeah if you want to like you like a lot of high-end pieces then you would have to be super early in the morning there and just um hope for finding a bunch of good stuff so i'm gonna have to try it i'll take you guys with me if i try doing this i might have to rest for a bit from the bins because it is hard work believe me and also i'm thinking of uh, making a video on how to start your own reselling business with a minimal um startup cost so if you're interested in that let me know in the comments i hope you love it please share let me and there goes the dog again help me get found thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe so it can trigger the algorithm thanks so much for watching bye